a tabloid smear. That is completely untrue. So yes or no, will you vote for us? I will say this. I don't make a habit out of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my family. And Donald Trump is not going to be the Republican nominee. Like Donald Trump is not going to be the Republican nominee. We are going to be the I'm, I'm watching it every day. Yeah. Both you guys are going back and forth with each other with this childish stuff. S sir, Should, sir, I understand vote. in the media that the game the media wants to play is when Donald attacks my family to say everyone is guilty. I have never once attacked any member of Donald's family. I do not intend to. Indeed, when Donald sent a second tweet attacking my wife, I responded by saying, Donald, real men don't bully women. Your wife is lovely. So not only did I not attack his wife, I praised his wife, and I simply said, Heidi is the love of my life. Now, I'm sorry, sir, if you believe that defending your wife and defending your family is childish, but it is not, and the media is being dishonest when it claims everyone is equally responsible. When he attacks my wife, and I turn around and praise his family and defend my wife, they are categorically different, and any media reporters who say otherwise are not being truthful. It's easy. The question that the people of America are asking is how low will Donald go? Is there any limit that he will not go? I believe his conduct in this campaign is convincing millions of Americans that this man would be an embarrassment as president, that we don't want a president who traffics in sleaze and slime. We don't want a president who attacks the family members of other candidates. We don't want a president who seems to have a real issue with strong women. He doesn't do well with strong women. Strong women threaten him and he lashes out. And we don't want a president who, for four or eight years, we pick up the, t the newspaper every day and read about the latest disaster. You know, Donald Trump is terrified to engage in a debate. He's right now hiding in Trump Tower. And when you ask questions, when you don't know anything, about the issues, as Donald Trump does not, it becomes evident. So he sits in Trump Tower and sends tweets late at night. Well, this is a dangerous world. We need a president who is capable of sitting down with Putin and defending America. And it will not be sufficient for the president to hide in his tower and send tweets at Putin. Putin invaded another country bad. That's not what we need from a president. We need a president who can and will lead. The conduct of Donald Trump is unbefitting the president of the United States, and these stakes are serious. America is in crisis right now, and we need a leader who brings us together, who defends who we are as Americans, who defends our values. Instead, he's just tweeting attacks at women and family members when he feels threatened. We need a president who is fighting for the people of America and not battling his personal demons on Twitter. Senator, have you been favored by strong women? Senator, have you been favored by strong women?